So, <laughs> okay, so everything's see, everything's so plugged in. Everything's plugged in. Through. So we got. Uh, so now, now that the, everything's running, this is a state mandated test. So Robert here is gonna uh, run this hers. You say it hers or here? How do you say it? <clears throat> so it's a hers test. It's hers test. Home energy What we're looking for is to make sure that ducts are sealed in that you're getting the most out of your system. The idea is you want all the airflow to be focused on in the house, not in the attic. So the way to do that properly is you have to seal all the registers, all the returns, and you're also gonna go up in the attic and you're gonna seal all the connection points that go into the furnace. They call them star colors. They kind of look like little stars. But you're allowed a certain percentage of leakage and then your allowable percentage is 10%. And so, so this is, so, so you've taped up the, return. the inflow, the return here, and you're blowing air in here. And then you have a, a sensor right there. And this guy is, is going into, for example, in this case, this register is covered. And so you can check the, the back, the pressure that's behind that, that uh, seal. So basically what you're doing is you're trying to measure it in Pascals, and Pascals are 25. That's the allowable for leakage. So you rev up the machine, it's all the way up to 25 Pascals. With this thing here, it's called a manometer. Mm -hmm. What you're looking at is the number on the top. The number on the top tells you the, the, the Pascals, and this tells you the CFM number. The CFM number is how much leakage there is producing out of the ducts. Cubic so, feet per minute, is that what that is? It is. Yeah, okay, cool. Exactly. So when we hit the machine and we turn it on, that number is gonna jump up on the top there. But we want that number to jump. We want it to get up to 25. So we're just gonna mess with it a little bit. And we're gonna see as it goes higher, once yep. when it gets to 25, yep. that's when I take a photo. Yep. That means cool. that we get that, the, that's our target underneath it. We'll get, well, our target's 25 Pascals, but underneath it will give us our number. And our number's below the allowable rate of leakage for this system. Cool. So that's how you know if it passes or fails. And you're saying that the the over time the state has has upped the efficiency requirement. As of this year, it went from five, fifteen percent to ten to ten percent. Yeah. Can only have ten percent uh, uh, loss. Yeah. Cool. And and what percentage of and so you said this is mostly you guys are mostly I mean you're doing new construction too, but you're mostly doing so uh, reduce. So you're doing a change out in California or anything to do with heating, air conditioning, ducts. And it's required if it's more than 25 feet of ducting replacement, you have to do this called a HERS test, state mandatory test. And what pro what proportion of the time do you find that it fails? I mean, I mean, just generically that it fails. It mostly never fails or? No, it fails. It's just a matter of why it fails. There's a lot of reasons why something fails. It could be as simple as they didn't seal everything correctly, or mm -hmm. it could be as simple as the house is built a certain way. Okay. So okay. Those are all things you have to take in consideration when you're testing it. On an average, on an average day, though, like the failures are like ten percent of the time you encounter a failure. It's it's like half the time. What's, what's the rough? Like the first time you do go do an inspection. On an average day, you see a lot more failures now because the, the leakage rate moved from fifteen ah, to ten percent. Right. Okay, cool. So older homes don't have to pass what they call under pass by smoke. Which means we take a smoke test oh, really? and we figure out if there's any leakage. Uh -huh. If there's zero leakage, then we pass it. Oh, wow. Cool. All right. Thank you.